no really they were this high <laughs> I used to find stuff like this before I made videos one night I found a dumpster from a video game store that went out of business an industrial open top dumpster and it was filled up with video game gear the entire thing <laughs> if I made that video if I was making videos back then it probably would have Probably would have been my best video ever. Millions of views, it was just amazing. But uh, unfortunately, they damaged it all before they threw it away. But there's still lots of good stuff. I spray painted it and stuff. But... All right, that's it. There's at least two trips. Get this loaded up. Stacking them. Look at the mice. I showed this in a video a while back. <laughs> I guess I'll just let them have it. I don't want to have any use for it. Um, I do need to say a while back I was talking about keeping the hard drives out of all these old, older computers or all the computers I find in case of uh, there might be cryptocurrency on them. Um, so when I said that i was thinking lost lost cryptocurrency because there's billions and billions of dollars of lost cryptocurrency out there and like you heard the story about the guy that threw his hard drive it's sitting in the landfill somewhere and the landfill won't want to go dig it up it's like worth tens of millions of dollars and uh, they won't let him go in there and look for it <laughs> so that's what i was thinking right and so i, I always talk about social media there's no checks and balances to protect from bad information. So in a video a while back, I was saying, yeah, I'm going to save, you know, save, or I was telling other people too, save the hard drives. There could be cryptocurrency on them. And then I seen a comment say, in, a, in a video saying, so what, you're going to steal people's cryptocurrency? And I just sat there for a few minutes. And I was like, well, you know, what? there's just, there's just another rude comment. You know, they don't know what to talk And I sat there and thought about it. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> There could be cryptocurrency on there, but that doesn't mean it's lost, right? I don't know. There's no way to tell if it's lost or not, right? If they have their seed words stored somewhere, like on a file in there. And then uh, they got their wallet and stuff in there. So I was thinking like finding people's lost, you know, recovering lost cryptocurrency. But there's no way to tell if it's lost or not. But there probably is for a professional. So I'm still going to hang on to them, you know, in like years down the line. You know, maybe I'll hand them over to a, a professional cryptocurrency computer person and uh, have a look through them. There probably is a way to tell if they're lost or re or even contact the person maybe one day. You know, uh, it's kind of a touchy subject, but <laughs> there could be billions of dollars of cryptocurrency on these old hard drives, literally. So um, I'm still going to hold on to them. But yeah, that's a major problem, right? You just might find someone's cryptocurrency and they're sitting somewhere at their new computer, right? And then you go dig up their old one and take their cryptocurrency out of their wallet and <laughs> move it somewhere else. And they're like, where'd all my crypto go? So yeah, I didn't think that one through. Check this out. Earlier today, I scored this. I collect stuff like this. Look at this little guy. Little doggy. Little dog. I like this metal stuff. Made out of metal, like all kinds of little creatures and stuff. He's pretty cool. He's got little little glass blue marbles for eyes and little little glass. I don't think I have any with glass on her. And he got a little spring for a tail. I think it was a light or something. And once there's an old an old lamp on there, I'll probably take off that plastic. He's pretty cool. I think he had a sign here. Check that out. See down here. I think he's holding a sign. Like a little garden, little garden guard dog or something. And then, uh, let's see, you can go here. And then check this out. Look at this. Oh, no. Look at that. Ah. I haven't looked at it yet. I think it's brand new. Look at that. Uh oh. No, I scratched. 
Oh, I like these new. I was thinking it's new, but the screen's got slight scratches. That could just be from sitting in here, though. But I got all the, I got the mount and the power adapters and stuff, so I'm gonna fire that up. It sure looks new. I might actually try to sell that on eBay if it works. I really don't have any for it. Looks like it came from Amazon. <laughs> I flipped a phone once I bought it on Amazon. Flipped it on eBay. If it wasn't for shipping and selling fees, I would have made money on it. Or quite a bit of money. I once bought a printer at Walmart for $99 and I couldn't sync it up with my wireless and my computer. So I looked online and they're selling for 300 on eBay. <laughs> I bought it at Walmart for 99 and sold it a couple weeks later for 300 on eBay. Sometimes there's little gadgets like that, like that out there that you can flip. I wasn't really trying to, I just came across it. And then of course I spent time trying to do stuff like that, trying to find more of those and I couldn't find them. So. <laughs>
17. That might be a record for me out of one one place out of one dumpster. Um, many, many years ago, I may have had more than that, but they were, that was back in the days before they were small. See how small some of these are? They were all like this size. I do remember spending an evening with those. Um, I think there might have been more back then. I don't know. That's close though. Close. It's close. If it's not, if it's not a record, it's close. Stack them, rack them, and yak them. What's that sign? Does that make sense? <laughs> rack them. Stack them. Stop talking and start talking. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go back and get the rest of those routers and modem dailies. They're not all that great, but eh, there's enough of them there to go, go after, drive down the road for. And... Uh, I don't have anything better to do, so let's get to it.
That's gonna wrap it up. I sure appreciate you joining me this evening. As always, thanks for watching.